So here we need to express sine theta minus 2 cos theta in the usual R sine theta minus alpha form. Okay, so I'm not going to read the rest of this because this is the standard form. Now, all you really need to realize is that when you start with a sentence, express, and then in the form, it means that these two are equal. So let's go ahead and write that. So we know straight off the bat it's going to be sine theta minus 2 cos theta must equal R sine uh theta minus alpha now what you could do here is realize that this is a double this is one of those expanded trig forms okay in the form of sine a plus minus b guys yeah so always try and keep this in mind so knowing that at least straight off straight off the bat now what we could do is say all right so this must be equal to sine theta so sine a cos b so sine theta cos alpha minus and then opposite cos theta sine alpha so sine a cos b cos a sine b basically and now we just match coefficients so you'll notice that you're going to have a sine term sine theta term on the left equal to a sine theta on the right and then a cos theta here and a cos theta there so what you the trick is to always match coefficients so it'll be like okay hang on for sine theta we can say that we have a coefficient of one here on the left on the right, we have a coefficient of R cos alpha. So we can say that for sine theta, 1 must equal R cos alpha. And then repeat the same for um, cos theta. We'll notice that we have a coefficient of 2 there. And by the way, they're both negative, so we can ignore negative signs. This has a coefficient of 2, and this has a coefficient of R times sine alpha. So 2 equals R sine alpha. And now, what you could do here is firstly to work out r and, and alpha let's go ahead and make everything to the usual soccer tour form which is making sine alpha the subject and cos alpha the subject so we're going to have for example cos alpha equals one over r or sine alpha equals two over r now thankfully with soccer tour we always work with right angle triangles and just label each side appropriately so for instance for sine and cos we can use so ka and of course so I'll say tor for fun sine tells us it's going to follow it's going to be sine the, the equation is going to be sine alpha equals opposite over j over hypotenuse so opposite is to hypotenuse is r so opposite angle is here's the hypotenuse and of course for cos it would be adjacent over hypotenuse would so be one over r okay now to work out all you just use um, Pythagoras so we would say 1 squared plus 2 squared must equal r squared and then if you square root that you'll get r equals root 5 it looks like we're done now just replace one of these with root 5 so let's say a sine so you're gonna have 2 over well 1 over root 5 and then if you decide to sine or cause inverse either one you'll get the same answer of roughly 1.107 to three decimal places yeah and that's it